Well, friends, welcome to another term with us, Term 3, 2021. I thought it would be important just to produce a very short introduction video, particularly because we are in lockdown and we are starting off a new term together. And so with that in mind, I thought particularly just to encourage all of the students amongst us as a new term goes back, particularly for the year 12s amongst us, what a time of disruption for you with your HSC. Our prayers and thoughts are with you and um, more to be heard in that arena, but also not just students going back to online learning, but of course, all the teachers that are doing that as well. If you're a teacher amongst us, I've produced a short 10 minute sort of Bible devotion for our teachers just to encourage you. You might like to engage with that if you'd like to. It's just all purely voluntary. Uh, And also for the young families and those families with children at school age, just our thoughts and our prayers are with you at this time that as we do a big transition. Again, friends, I want to encourage us as a church to be intentional in this time as we kick off the term together. Initially, the lockdown was only going to be for a week or two over the holidays. But of course, the numbers are going in a certain direction and that lockdown seems to continue to draw on. And so I just want to encourage us all as a church to be intentional and purposeful in this season together. And let me encourage you all and all of us to draw close to God in the midst of this time. He is your refuge. He is good God. He hears the cries of his people. The book of Exodus is what we're looking at in term three together. One of the great reminders of the book of Exodus is that God is a God who cares. He's concerned for his people. He hears the cries of his people and he responds. The New Testament scriptures tell us, knock and he will answer, ask and you shall receive. Friends, draw near to God at this time. How might you do that? Friends, again, now it's important to maintain those regular healthy rhythms and routines. Bible reading, please try to be reading your Bible from day to day, but also engage with us at Oste Online on a weekly basis. You set aside Sunday as a time where you set aside that time communally to come to God together. Let me encourage you to maintain that healthy rhythm with us at Oste Online. Our goal with Oste Online is to bring the God, the bear, bring to bear God's word to his people week in, week out. That is central and so important. But also, we want to do it as the priesthood of all believers. Exodus chapter 19, verse 5 and 6. God says to Moses, Although the whole earth is mine, you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Don't forget one Peter picks up on this same verse. The idea is that it's the priesthood of all believers, and we want Oste Online to reflect that. And so over the coming weeks with Oste Online, our goal, our hope, our prayer will be that it won't just be the staff who are presenting and gathering together for Oste Online, but we'll be doing interviews, Bible readings, um, updates from the various priesthood of all believers. And so can I encourage you, please, to actually track along with us at Oste Online from week to week. Also, let me speak briefly to our pastoral care as a church at this time. I want to remind you and encourage you, we have a very intentional approach and strategy to our pastoral care. We also want to be a church that can hear the cries of the people. We want to know when people are suffering. We want to care for one another. How do we do that as a church? First of all, our conviction is that it's a priesthood of all believers that we all want to care for one another. It's a responsibility of every individual to care for each other. And so even this week, even as you respond to this video today, can I encourage you to pick up the phone and to ring a brother or sister in Christ, ask them how are they going, how can you love them, how might you be praying for them and supporting them at this time. There's the one-to-one commitment that we all have towards one another. We also have our many small groups And again, we want to encourage our small groups to rally together around the family of God and to uh, love one another, encourage one another. Some groups are still meeting on Zoom in this season of lockdown, but even if they're not meeting on Zoom, can I encourage you to reach out to your small groups? If you're not a part of a small group, there's a great time to join a small group is now, and there are groups that are meeting. Can I encourage you to contact Liz McCoy or the church office in order to make that happen if you'd like it? It's possible. However, we're also very blessed as a church to have a pastoral care team. And they met and have been meeting regularly over the last few weeks. And even on Monday, I met with them to pray 
Every Monday morning, the pastoral care team is meeting and they're praying and they're trying to work towards caring for those people who have acute pastoral care needs. So can I encourage you in two ways? One, if you'd like to join that pastoral care team, there is a need in this time and you might like to join that team. Every Monday they join together, they pray, they uh, also plan and try and action certain things. But also if you need care, then can I encourage you to contact the church office? All of our details are always available on our website and also in our OSTE online, the contact details are there. Contact the church office, contact Liz McCoy or myself we would love to be able to respond uh, to, to hopefully care for one another. That's our pastoral care. Very quickly, can I share just a few prayer points and for your consideration as we launch into term three together? These are a few kind of family matters, if you like. Youth group. Youth group is planning on meeting via Zoom in coming weeks ahead. Not this week, but in future weeks ahead, the youth group will be providing that Zoom link to youth group, inviting the youth to join that. There's also a global mission update. Just to be aware, this term, our plan was to do a deputation week with Dan and Marg from CMS. Uh, please keep them in your prayers and be aware that over the coming weeks, uh, we're hoping to uh, connect with Dan and Marg and join with them in partnership as we seek to send them overseas as CMS missionaries. There's also a wonderful local mission opportunity at this time with For the Love Of, ministry, which again, we've been talking about over recent months past, the group for the love of plan to continue to serve during this season. And just to remind you, it's a food ministry. So as you think about, and as you speak, and as you interact possibly with your neighbours and your friends in the local area, if there's a need, you might ask them, can we bless you by providing a meal to you at this time? Would this be something that you'd find helpful, even um, to be able to connect with for the love of. You'll be hearing more about that in weeks ahead. But again, that idea that we wanted to be loving not just one another, but loving our surrounding community at that time as well. Also, just for your prayers and encouragement, um, during this time where there are buildings and we can't gather um, together in our building, however, please keep in your prayers and for your awareness and the wardens in particular, but there's also a group of volunteers who are seeking to use this time well. And even as I speak to you, there's an AV upgrade and our prayer is that as you return back, God willing, there will be the chance to have the new digital projectors, the new sound system will be set up. Um, there'll be a new bank of windows along their gathering space as well. So there's a bunch of work that is currently um, being planned and being done, even though we're in lockdown. So a huge word of thanks to our wardens and our parish council and those volunteers that are helping make that a reality. Again, there'll be a little bit more updates over the term ahead as that presses forward, God willing. Let me just finish with a final word of encouragement. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31. Whatever you are doing, do it for the glory of God. Friends, whether it's a good time or whether it's a bad time, the Lord gives, the Lord takes away. We want to be able to say, blessed be the name of the Lord. Friends, we want God to be glorified in this season. And so my prayer for you, my prayer for us as a church, is that we would be still able to point people to the greatness of God, especially in his son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and his death and resurrection. We have a great God. And friends, as we endure, as we persevere, we want to do it for the glory and the greatness of the name of our Lord Jesus. So friends, press on, persevere in this together. And let me encourage you uh, in this way as we launch into term three together. Thank you.